this is there though this is a place I've wanted to come to for a very long time I can remember coming up here once uh, uh, coming to Gorju ten years ago I had a date and I said I wanted to go to Zelo and uh, so I wanted to come here for at least ten years well I'm presuming this is the centre of the city the town, village it certainly looks that way so I shall be coming back here a little later We have here the um, muse museum in Zelo, uh, starting off with a 7.6 centimetre anti-tank weapon, Soviet, all Soviet weapons in fact. There we have a 120 millimetre mortar, 152 millimetre um, artillery, the Katyusha. 132 BM13 There's a single row of uh, um, rocket launchers that held on each side I think the most successful of all Katyusha models Behind it we have the T-34 tank with what appears to be an 85mm gun. It is indeed. The tank that conquered Eastern Europe. The museum has given some rather large figures for the map death since World War II. 55.3 million, uh, which is 24.5 would be our are civilians. I find that rather hard to believe. Uh, the First World War is given around just under 10 million dead, which is probably correct, but when we think of the massive slaughter on the Western Front above all, it brings it into... Um, it shows how many people were killed there. Now here in the battle for Silo Heights, uh, 33,000 Soviets, 12,000 German and 5,000 Polish troops were killed. Um, so obviously the Germans, the Wehrmacht was fighting from a defensive point of view and um, in, in, in possibly easier to defend positions uh, and also the rather absurd tactics which were adopted by Zhukov uh, which allowed this to happen these pictures uh, are taken from various places uh, some from the beginning of the war even. There were many from uh, this period to the end.
know what you want. You know, this is this is an anti tank rifle, this thing on the this long thing. Oh, you know that's not here. <laughs> they were actually rather effective against early uh, German and British tanks. Yes? Mm -hmm. For instance, this T26 was an easy break. And because of that. Yes. Well. We have here a diorama of the Battle of Zelo which shows quite clearly the situation that was faced by the attacking Soviets. The Soviets had positions in marshy land, which was controlled by some higher areas, uh, where in this case we've got one 88mm um, gun, which has allegedly knocked out all of these Soviet T-34s. And this is quite exactly what, what it would have been like. It was very difficult advancing up one road, a bit the Arnhem situation. And um, higher land, the, the heights are not very, very high. And some places they put you at 50 metres. Uh, but even so, that's uh, quite a height. Um, if you're controlling the top somewhere. So in a case like this, you would have the situation which was relatively easy to defend. The problem for the Germans was that they ran out of ammunition and they had enough ammunition to keep them going for only a few hours and then that was it. Then the positions would be overrun. In a case like this, the thing to do is an attack by infantry at night, in my opinion. Here we have the weapons. Assault rifle, which is very unusual, rare, and there's a number of cars in it. Diorama of the front. There's a Christian costume. area which was occupied by the Soviets and the defence were further back. So there's a Sailor Heights here. We have here in uh, one of the houses, which uh, the museum keeps its, um, uh, its its store really. It's not really open to the public. I've been allowed in very nicely, and uh, we have this this painting. This is a very 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 Soviet type idea, but um, it's it's completely wrong as far as the battlefield would be considered. First of all, the because of the uh, there was the artillery barrage. Uh, which would have thrown uh, huge amounts of dirt and things into the air. Uh, it was then Zhukov had this uh, absurdly stupid idea of lighting up the battlefield with um, searchlights, which would have in itself created a sort of a mist. It would have shown the silhouettes of the advancing Soviet troops, still ultimately picked up by the Wehrmacht. But and then finally we see the Soviets at the beginning here attacking downhill. They were attacking uphill. 
Oh, and here we have a very nice map of the of the battlefield. There's Berlin. And as we come over here, we can see the uh, the positions held by both sides, but particularly the German ones. Uh, you know, on the, on the 16th of April, 1945, and here's Celo in the centre. 